and today we are going to learn applications of Poisson distribution. Let us begin by revising the definition. A random variable x is said to follow Poisson distribution with parameter lambda where lambda is greater than 0 if and only if its probability density function PDF is given by e to the power minus lambda lambda to the power x upon x factorial where x takes values 0, 1, 2, 3 etc. So basically it is a discrete random variable. We also know expectation of x is lambda and variance of x is also lambda. There are two applications of Poisson distribution. Type 1 application depends on the fact that if x follows Poisson with parameter lambda, then expectation of x also comes out to be equal to lambda. So we use it in those conditions, situations where average number of some things is provided to us. Let us take an example. Suppose average number of errors per page in a particular book is 5 per page. And we are interested in finding probability of, say for example, no error in 10 pages. So what we basically do here is lambda is taken to be the average number in 10 pages. If average is 5 per page, then in 10 pages, the average number of errors that we expect is 50, which is basically 5 per page was the number of errors multiplied with number of pages. So we take lambda to be equal to 50 and we are now interested in probability of no error. So we want x to be equal to 0. Now we simply use its fxx which is probability x equal to x at x equal to 0. So what is the answer? Probability x equal to 0 with this lambda will become e to the power minus 50. 50 to the power of 0 upon 0 factorial. We know 0 factorial is 1 and anything to the power 0 is 1. So the answer is e to the power minus 50. In the same situation if you were to be asked probability of 1 error in 10 pages. Then lambda will remain 50 and you put x equal to 1. And so on and so forth. So basically type 1 is used when average number of things is provided to us. That could be average number of errors, average number of accidents, average number of whatever situation is given to you where average number is provided, we can try to fit Poisson distribution. So this is called fitting of a Poisson distribution, which is type 1. Type 2 application of Poisson depends on the fact that limiting situation of binomial with parameters n and p becomes Poisson under the conditions when n is large, p is small and np can be taken to be equal to lambda. So basically, type 2 can be utilized in all those situations where you would actually use binomial but n is large enough, p is small and therefore np can be taken to be lambda and you can rather use Poisson distribution for the sake of simplicity. Let us look at an example. Suppose n is 100 and p is 0.01. And you are to calculate probability x equal to 3. Now we know fxx of binomial is ncx p to the power x q to the power n minus x where q stands for 1 minus p. So this becomes 100 c3 0.01 to the power of 3 and 1 minus 0.01 to the power of 100 minus 3 which is 97. As you can see this is pretty complicated. So we would not use binomial in such a situation. We would rather use Poisson. What does that tell us? N, P you can take to be lambda. Which because N is large and P is small becomes a decent number. See for example in this case N is 100 and P is taken to be 0 0.01 which is 1 upon 100. And therefore see it just becomes a nice little number 1. So in order to calculate probability x equal to 3 we utilize the fxx of Poisson distribution which is e to the power minus lambda lambda to the power of x which is 3 in this case upon x factor which is 3 factor 
So it is as simple as e to the power minus 1 upon 3 factor. So type 2 ends by looking at the difference it will make if you were to calculate this as compared to 